information. What it is? Yeah, like give a photo and video, we will tell and give you all information about common our project board. You want to know right? Mm, so, don't forget to call us until we are finished. Do you know about the vendors? Street vendors can be categorized into two, legal and illegal street vendors. Do you know about illegal street vendors? Okay, I want to give information about illegal street vendors. Why they are choose to be a street vendors and go to the city? Hmm, before, they think that they chance to get better jobs and salary is to go outside from their village and go to the city like Bandung, Jakarta, and Edge. And besides that, people who enter the city are not people with educate education and skills. So that many unemployed people don't get jobs because the academic requirements are not complete. And why they prefer to go to city? Because of low income value in the village and shadow of success from experience of the villagers who migrated before. But level of competition in the city causing difficulties for migrants. So, they choose to be a street vendor which use facilities where it should be a public area. For example, the sidewalk were for pedestrians. Even though, the local government has made some rule about prohibiting buying and selling activities on the shoulders and sidewalk, but they still do it. Why? Yes, the reason is that they have no choice anymore to become illegal traders to survive and to fulfill their needs. Three negative effects of the street vendors. The first, many street vendors don't have a pledge to sell, so they use the roadside to sell items. Therefore, the road will be narrow, and then the road will be crowded. The second, beside on the roadside, the flash to sell street vendor is on the walk pavement that blocks pedestrian, describing the come from a pedestrian. The third, street vendors often leave a lot of garbage on the roadside, or the rest of the trash are come from their items. It makes the road become dirty with polluted environment. The community say that they are benefit from the existence of street vendors. For them, shopping at a street vendors is easier and more practical than shopping at a store or supermarket because the location directly on the roadside make it easier for buyers when shopping. Therefore, they don't need to park vehicles even sometimes they don't have to get off the vehicles. If they shop in a store or supermarket, they have to park their vehicles and have to buy parking fees too. Even though they only shop for like items such as food and soap drinks. Besides that, the community also said that the price of items sold at street vendors are cheaper. So, transactions at street vendors are very popular with most people. For the quality of item per case when shopping at street vendor, the community say that the quality is good because the item sold they same as item sold in general store. Not only about the place, sometimes the street vendors also behave naughty about what they sell. Starting from selling food at high prices, using food ingredients that is not supposed to be, or cheat when cooking food. In the use of packaging, many traders are ignored about this. Many street vendors use terraform packaging or black plastic, but it is must be avoided because it can have an impact on the buyer's health. And how to be good and ideal street vendors? Let's check it first. Make sure that you sell in the right and clean place, not on the sidewalk, not on the edge of the road, not near a guard cap down, and not near a dirty ditch. Second, always keep the clean lines around the selling place, do not pollute and litter. Third, selling healthy food and using good ingredients, cooking food in a healthy way, and not adding harmful ingredients. Third, selling food or drink by using environmentally friendly packaging so that it does not have an impact on the buyer's health and do not pollute the environment. Fifth, sell friendly and according to regulation. And how to be a waste buyer? First, make sure the place of sale is clean. Second, 
make sure the food or drink salt and use this quality ingredients. Third, make sure the food is processed properly and correctly. Four, make sure the food uses safe packaging. Fifth, make sure the food is nutritious and safe for consumption. So, be a good trader and wise buyer because what we do will have an impact on the surrounding.